hear fundamentalists, he think about armed struggle, he think about radicals. Actually, if, if you look at uh, the religion, we do not have moderate. You have one line, you accept the one line or not. Another man following techniques introduced to Al-Qaeda by Ali Mohammed is now plotting his next move. When Ramzi Yusuf's bomb failed to bring down the World Trade Center in 1993, he began work on a far more ambitious scheme. This time, the Trade Center will not be attacked from below. Nairobi, Kenya, late 1994. Former U.S. Army Sergeant Ali Mohammed has become a powerful hidden asset for Al-Qaeda. He's infiltrated U.S. intelligence and trained Al-Qaeda troops. He trained cell members who carried out the World Trade Center truck bombing. And he conducted surveillance for a plot that's in the works to attack U.S. embassies in East Africa. All of this out of devotion to radical Islam. As, as a Muslim, I have obligation to establish the Islamic law. It's obligation. It's not uh, choice. Mohammed now meets in Nairobi with Al-Qaeda's military commander, Mohammed Atef, and another member of the Al-Qaeda cell that's based here. You will be in charge Atef of tells the men he wants to expand their possible bomb targets. He orders Mohammed to conduct more surveillance of American and British locations. Allah does not fear the Americans. Within days of this meeting, Mohammed receives a message from his wife. The FBI wants to talk to him immediately. 